Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's Next Hack YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna introduce Proton VPN. You probably know what is VPN, you're probably using a VPN, and there's a many different ways you can do VPN. I had quite a lot of video to talk about the VPN in my channel, but why we talking about the Proton VPN in this video, there's quite a few reasons. Um, open source it's so transparent so you can find out the uh, proton vpn's github repository and if you want to fork it and create one for yourself then you can do that it's also no logs i like this policy here it's strictly no logs policy which is whatever you do the traffic then there's no log on it and it has a good reputation for proton product Previously, Proton Mail, and also if you look at the uh, Wikipedia, you will find out the uh, headquarter is in Switzerland. This is non-profit structure under the Proton Foundation. Proton VPN, Proton Mail also have same management team. They have promised the no logs policy, and that was independently audited by Securitum, a European security auditing company. Source code also has been released on all platforms. So all those features plus free version, they do have free version. If you want to pay extra, you will get much more advanced features, security features, that show the least one for yourself and for your family. For this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can get it and how you can install it for your computer and learn how to use it. Hopefully that can give you an idea what the Proton VPN can do. Comparing to other VPNs, once you watch those videos, once you compare the VPNs I introduced in my video, you probably can get a better idea which one is best for you. Because different VPN solution has a different use cases. Now let's jump into Proton VPN. Proton VPN website called itself as the best VPN for speed and security. But the one thing you need to know, Proton VPN has two different versions. One is free version, one is paid version. Even paid version, there's two different types, Proton VPN Plus and Proton Unlimited. With the free version, you get one device, no logs, no ads, unlimited and free forever. But with the paid version, you just can add 10 devices at the same time. And also you have more than 11,000 servers in more than 110 countries. But free version is much less than that. Just 100 free servers and you cannot select the country you want to connect it to. It will randomly pick one free server for you. You can select the fastest one. Of course, there's a lot more features with paid version, high speed VPN, high speed streaming, and you also support the P2P, BitTorrent, those feature. If you are home user, this free version should be good enough. That's the one we are gonna test it for. Another thing you might want to know is Proton VPN has released the DLC protocol for Android, iOS, and Mac OS client, also Windows client. What that means, it can pretend in your VPN traffic as HTTPS traffic, which in certain countries can help you bypassing the censorship on that country. So if you are in that country, this Proton VPN may be able to help you to cross your firewalls set up by your country and to go to the other countries in the world. But the least them sometimes because of DNS limitation, DNS firewall, you might not able to connect into it because of a login process. In that way, I will show you a way how you can use Proton VPN even that country has some limitation. I will show you a way at the end of this video. Now let's start in to create account. 
Let's get our Proton VPN account. As long as you have email, you can get a free account. Get Proton free. We are continue with free. If you do want to pay, you can get a, you can get other different subscription. Let's create account using your email address. And then you can start using the Proton VPN. That's how simple it is. Of course, you need to set up a password. I would like to use my own password. So account has been created. You might need to activate your account in your email. Just verify your email address. Then email verified. You can close it. Now we need to download Proton VPN client and install it. Once the you logged in Proton VPN account, you can go to download page to download VPN client based on your OS. That's something I really like because Proton VPN client supports almost all platforms. Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chromebook, Android TV. It also support to use the open VPN configuration files. You can export it and import it into your open VPN client if you are using open VPN. They are supported well. In this video, we're gonna use Windows as demo. So we cannot download for Windows. We are using Windows 11 x64 version if you're using the ARM version or 32 bit they do have client for that as well it's about 81 megabytes depending on internet speed it can be up just a couple of seconds open file which is gonna start in the installation wizard you just need to follow the wizard to finish the installation so it will just need to click next and then Proton VPN is ready to be installed. If you don't want to install any other software provided by Proton, then you can uncheck them. Uh, you may want to create a desktop shortcut. Now installation completed, you just need to log in with your account and password. You may want to uncheck this depending on what you need. Start and connect on boot. Do you want to start it automatically when you reboot your machine? Let's sign in. Sign in process probably take a couple of seconds. That's something interesting. In certain countries, if there's a censorship, the sign process might not successful because of the DNS blocking and the IP filtering or those features on the country's firewall. They blocked users to sign in. So if you have that issue, then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a way to bypass it. And then you can log in even they have firewall there. After that, you can continue to use your Proton VPN as usual. So if it's the first time you log into Proton VPN, you may get this take a tour window. So we can quickly take a look those features presented in this tour. Some of these features only applies to those paid account. That basic interface you will see, you will see your IP address, that's my home IP address. You can quickly connect to it. What that means, they will connect into one of the free servers in the world which is available to you, but it might be not the best for you considering the server. This is 97% load for this server, it's heavily been used. so. If that happens, as it is showing, then you can change the server or you can choose 
fastest server here. Let's try fastest server where it connecting to. It's still in US and it already gave you this one. So that's the fastest server, but it might be not the best server as well. So you may want to do, let's change the server again. It's on the US server 105, 91% road, still not that bad, but after you choose a twice change the server then they will ask you to wait around one and a half minutes to change to another server. For testing the server speed, we always can use speed test this tool to quickly test it how it goes. You can see the speed is not that bad. It's about 80 meg BPS per second for downloading and about 8 to 9 meg BPS uploading. So the connection is pretty good so far. Even it's heavily used server, we can see 91% road. It still can achieve around 80 meg downloading and almost 10 meg uploading. At the bottom of the server list, as you can see, there's lots of countries you can select to, but they are grayed out, which means this feature, it will be only for paid version, which you have to upgrade. You got the high speed, 10 gig BPS, you can connect into 117 countries and plug up to 10 devices. So basically you can have 10 devices using same account to log in. But again, this is not for free to use. Other things you can do here is you look at the settings. You can change the language based on your country. The interesting part is this, you can choose still see protocol to do the connection which will give you an option to disguise your VPN traffic as HTTPS traffic. That will help you to bypassing certain censorship in certain countries. But it also add a bit overload on your traffic which gonna slow down your downloading uploading speed a bit. But that's the option you may want to try if you're facing the censorship in your country or in your region. Other features such as port forwarding, this will need to upgrade to plus. Split tunneling also need to upgrade. But other than that, for normal home users, you don't need to worry about those things at all. You can just use all default configuration. Um, but again, here is something you can choose when you are facing connection issue using the Steels protocol. One of the common issue for certain regions is logging to Proton VPN. You may have a logging issue because of the censorship in that region. A VPN is not connecting got a connection errors and they will not let you to log into your account so which you cannot launch your VPN. If you are facing this kind of issue most likely because of the censorship of the internet, I would suggest to try to use a V2Ray and which you can watch my list video to show you how to get this program and how to find free VLAS type server list and then import it into your V2RayN and launch this first, connecting to internet using V2RayN to those free server first, then try to log in, which can bypass the censorship to make you log. After you log in, you don't need this anymore. You can close it and then enjoy the connection to Proton VPN free servers. So that's one of the common issues I see on the internet, which can be resolved by V2RayM. That's all for this video, and I hope you got 
some useful information from this video and I hope you like this video. If you do, give me some up and subscribe my channel. See you in my next one.